After the SLS and Lunar Gateway accidents, the next problem threatening NASA's Artemis program is the Orion spacecraft. Unfortunately, Orion is now at the center of a challenge that is the most important factor in any lunar mission. Schedule, cost, and safety are among them. But what if NASA is forced to prioritize only one of these items? It's a question they can answer soon. How did NASA get here? Should Orion and SLS be canceled in favor of SpaceX's Starship? We'll discuss these questions today in NR Studio. We all know that this coming September, NASA is preparing to launch Artemis II, which marks the second phase of the ambitious Artemis program. This mission will feature the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft carrying astronauts on a journey around the moon. Unlike Artemis I, which was an unmanned test flight, Artemis II will be a milestone in human space exploration, bringing astronauts to the moon for the first time since Apollo 17 in 1972, in a span of more than half a century. For this mission to be successful, the equipment used, especially the Orion spacecraft, must be in perfect working order. Orion will serve as a base for the crew during the mission, transporting them from launch to lunar orbit and then back to Earth for re-entry and landing. However, Orion has several issues that NASA must resolve before Artemis II can fly safely. In May, NASA's Office of Inspector General, or OIG, released a report titled, NASA's Preparations for the Artemis II Crew, Mission to Lunar Orbit. The report highlights critical issues with Orion's heat shield, separation bolts, and power distribution system, all of which could pose significant risks to crew safety. These issues are particularly concerning because they involve some of the most critical systems for a safe return from space. The heat shield is one of the most significant issues. During the Artemis I reentry, NASA found more than 100 places where the thermal material on the heat shield had corroded differently than expected. The material is designed to protect the spacecraft from the intense heat generated during reentry, but the uneven wear observed has raised serious concerns about the shield's reliability. The OIG report includes photos showing the damage, which provide a visual Nessie's slight sense of the extent of the problem. NASA says engineers are studying possible solutions that could include redesigning the heat shield or adjusting Orion's re-entry trajectory. However, they have not provided a clear timetable for implementing those adjustments. These ongoing investigations contributed to NASA's decision to delay the Artemis II launch from its original schedule. NASA now faces a difficult choice regarding Artemis II. Keep the heat shield used on Artemis I or design an entirely new one. Both options present serious challenges. The current heat shield position keeps the mission on schedule but could compromise crew safety given the problems encountered during Artemis I. While some have suggested landing at a steeper angle to mitigate these risks, this is an unproven approach. On the other hand, Building a new heat shield would mitigate the risk but would almost certainly delay the mission. With just over a year to go before the planned 2025 launch, NASA and its contractors will have a tight schedule to develop, test, and deploy new systems. Despite this, NASA remains publicly optimistic, insisting that the mission is still on track for September 2025, though that confidence may be fragile. Additional delays could also cause Artemis II to fly without a crew, effectively repeating the uncrewed Artemis I mission, which would be a major setback. The dilemma highlights NASA's struggle to overcome the inefficiencies and delays that are a byproduct of its reliance on traditional contractors. Each system on SLS-2 Orion took years to develop and cost billions of dollars. Meanwhile, private companies like SpaceX are revolutionizing the industry by offering faster, cheaper, and more reliable solutions. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft and Falcon rockets are prime examples of how modern innovation can overcome NASA's legacy systems. As NASA grapples with these challenges, the growing gap between traditional aerospace methods and the efficiencies of private companies is becoming increasingly apparent. It's clear that the future of space exploration can be determined by bold advances by private companies like SpaceX, not government agencies. Careful consideration of Orion's problems becomes even more important when we look at the recent disappointment of Starliner. Once again, Boeing. NASA's longtime partner has been at the center of many delays and problems. With an investment of more than $4 billion, Boeing's Starliner has consistently faced developmental issues, leading to years of delays. 
And when it finally launched, it came with new problems that have caused unease among the space community. And even after it arrived at the ISS, technical difficulties have continued to wreak havoc on the station. But more than three months later, Starliner returned on the morning of September 7th. But now NASA and Boeing are scrambling to solve the ongoing problems that have plagued the spacecraft. Orion, tasked with a more complex and demanding mission, may face similar risks. The extreme conditions it will face, as well as known technical issues, raise serious concerns. And if something goes wrong during the mission, where do the astronauts turn for help? Who can come to the rescue? These are tough questions that NASA will have to grapple with as it moves forward. What do you think? Should NASA abandon the spacecraft and start over? If you think so, let me know by letting me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on SpaceX's history-making journey. Overall, Orion is just one of many problems with the Artemis program right now. NASA has spent more than $23 billion on the systems needed to make Artemis one a reality, and is now busy preparing for Artemis II. Short parts of the SLS are still being transported to Florida, where they say they are not yet fully assembled. Critical testing like cryogenics, static fire testing, and underwater use testing cannot be done until the end of this phase. They may even claim they have another year to go, but a year could pass without progress. And if delays continue, the cost of Artemis II could easily exceed the cost of Artemis I. Adding to the concerns, the SLS facility is under increasing scrutiny. NASA's Office of Inspector General recently released a report on SLS 1B components, including the main booster and the upper exploration stage, both of which are managed by Boeing. The report found that these parts do not meet NASA or international standards, raising concerns about further delays. Boeing may need additional time to resolve these issues, which could have a direct impact on the Artemis schedule. And as we've seen, the challenges Boeing faces tend to drive up costs, sometimes exponentially. While this particular hardware issue affected Artemis IV, there's a real possibility that similar issues could affect Artemis II. Though there have been no official reports of it being confirmed at this time, the inefficiencies don't end there. NASA's Lunar Gateway Project is another area of concern. According to a Government Accountability Office report, the project is expected to cost up to $5.3 billion by December 2027. What's even more concerning is that the project is already experiencing significant delays. The current schedule may not allow the gateway to be ready for Artemis IV until September 2028, as planned. In addition, the gateway's design is reportedly incompatible with Starship HLS, the spacecraft that will eventually carry astronauts to the lunar surface. Additionally, the process involved in building and operating systems to compete with the Artemis missions is incredibly complex, adding another layer of difficulty to NASA's overall lunar goals. Sure, SLS and Orion are still part of NASA's vision for lunar exploration, but with so many issues, it's hard to imagine how NASA can keep a well-organized system running efficiently. The same inefficiencies apply to other expensive NASA projects, like mobile launchers. Which cost around Rocket $1 and billion Orion each. spacecraft take astronauts After on Artemis a journey one was around used the moon. Once. Unlike Artemis NASA 1, which was an uncrewed test flight, fixing it. Artemis 2 will be a Meanwhile, significant the cost milestone of a new launch in human space exploration, carrying astronauts to the moon for the first Looking time the since Apollo 17 as a whole, in 1972, it's clear that many a gap of, of over half a century. They for still this mission today, to succeed, the vehicles used, NASA particularly has been the Orion spacecraft, must but with perform the pressing flawlessly. For Orion will the moon, serve as the crew's home for the duration of the mission, carrying them from launch to lunar Should orbit NASA and then back to Earth for re-entry and Imagine a simpler However, approach. Orion has Launching been plagued by several starship, issues that NASA must address on the moon before Artemis II can and returning safely aboard fly. The same spacecraft. In May, NASA's the only additional of Inspector General, or OIG, published a report titled NASA's readiness for the Earth. Artemis II crew Orion mission or the lunar to lunar gateway. orbit. The, the journey report to the highlighted moon seems a lot more straightforward. With Orion's heat Perhaps it's time for NASA to make a bold decision. Power distribution system, Orion, all which could NASA's pose significant risks to the safety of the crew. These problems are particularly alarming, considering that they pertain to simpler, some of the most vital systems for a safe return from space. The, solution the heat shield have has emerged for. as one of the most NASA's concerning to lunar spacecraft. Yet after setbacks with SLS and lunar gateway, the next issue threatening NASA 
this is Artemis can program really is the Orion can NASA take a bold and Unfortunately, step Orion in this is now at the Only center time of challenges tell. related the future to the of most space crucial exploration factors may depend in any on lunar mission. Final Schedule, light gems, that's it for today's safety. episode. But what Thank if you very NASA much. is...